Hey, Charlie and Teresa here. Charlie and Teresa here. We're out here at the blueberries and we just put them in the ground finally. Hey, hon. And you didn't think it could be done. Not me. And it did get done. It did, huh? By it's to my husband. All by itself. It's very, very strong. So Teresa filled in all this area. Look at all that dirt. The bushes are down in the ground now. Won't drown in the floods. <laughs> And it actually looks pretty. We didn't clean up yet. But there's the barricade in the front. And one more coming in the mail. Oh, one Remember. more is coming in the mail. She's going to put another one on the end. Yes. That's what she says. Ah! I don't even know what day it is. It's October, though, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> it's a day of the week. It's a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. Okay, and the sad announcement is the sweet potatoes do not like the grow bags. Nah, they didn't like it much at all. No. So we didn't even we didn't even show you the the harvest, the half of them. We're leaving the other half in the ground, maybe a little bit longer in the ground to get a little bigger. In the bag. In the bag. In the bag. In the ground. In the ground. In the bag. You know, some of them grew through the bag, didn't they, hun? <laughs> some of them grew through the bag. They grew into the weed block cloth from the top. And tried to grow little potatoes under the weed block. Under the, it went through the weed block. Ugh. And we watered them with the drip irrigation thingy, and the tops of the bags are always dry. So we probably need more mulch on them or something. But the bottoms were wet, so most of the sweet potatoes were grown in the very bottom of the bags. Yeah. So, but uh, they're over there. Maybe I'll walk over. I'll press pause. I'll just show you the poultry some we got. All right, I harvested maybe in this area we had about eight grow bags. And you can see what I didn't get. <laughs> Some were cracked. So we're letting them dry. We sit them out here and let them dry a little bit. And then we'll decide whether we're going to heat them and hard, harden them off. But this variety had pretty big leaves. This variety in comparison has very small leaves so I don't know and this was the the drip irrigations the emitters that we used on it so they all got watered they all looked looked fine but not true we still see some tomatoes she's got tomatoes growing still Eey. We got lots of tomatoes, making homemade tomato soup this year. And uh, the trees, we trimmed this one a little. She painted the bark again. This one, two peach trees, then you get down with the apple. You can see they're just about, they're just about done. We're still watering them though, because it's so dry here. All right, Charlie and Teresa, garden for two. Thanks for, oh, wait, wait, wait. All the dirt that comes out of these grow bags, <laughs> I bring it all the way over there. And that will be, the potato patch for next year and of course that area was low and tends to flood so that's why i'm raising the dirt level up in there probably at least another six inches so we'll see it's a lot of a lot of work um but once it's done it's done all right so charlie and teresa garden for two thanks for watching us